Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to Whiskey Wanders. And it's really great to have you all tuning in. <laughs> I don't know if tuning in is even the right word anymore, but tuning in to watch these videos. I, I really appreciate it. And it's uh, it's pretty amazing to see our little community of whiskey lovers growing uh, as, as fast as it is. Also, uh, it's great to see your comments. Uh, they've all been very cool and it's very interesting to get your perspective uh, on the whiskey, uh, on the whiskey world, and really most recently, <laughs> the cost difference in whiskey from here in California, which I assumed was always higher, uh, versus uh, all the other parts of the country and the world and parts of known. So, uh, you know, it's great to have you all here. Now, today I am at a Costco in Hawthorne, which is uh, I guess sort of in the southern part of LA. It's more of kind of like an industrial area, but it's like an upscale industrial area. You know, so a place where you'd have like R&D offices and Porsche dealerships, but still sort of urban and and and, uh, and not uh, not fancy. Now that being said, this is one of my top Costco's on the list who get really interesting and unique and sort of hard to find whiskeys and bourbons. And I don't know if that's just because maybe the liquor manager has got some juice or uh, whatever it is, but uh, they get some pretty good stuff on a random occasion. Uh, I mean, I think previously I got an Angel's Envy uh, uh, apple cider or cider rye, uh, which was pretty much a unicorn. Um, so after that, I still come back to this Costco on a pretty frequent basis, uh, but you don't always find something, but when you do find something, it's pretty good. And in fact, today I have a heartwarming story about persistence to overcome the nasty horde and hide natures of some of our fellow whiskey compatriots uh, and to come out on top uh, to get a bottle of the much sought after Eagle Rare. In fact, in the new bottle as well, not the old bottle. So we'll talk about some of the other whiskeys like uh, the Kirkland Small Batch, which is uh, proudly produced out of the 1792 Barton's Distillery. Uh, which is making its debut on the west coast and lastly kind of a low-key favorite of a lot of folks of the channel apparently uh it's this arbolor cask anum uh which is uh <laughs> there's no way i'm saying that right um so either way uh, i'll talk about the prices uh, that i found here at costco compare them to the cost of the other major liquor places like total wine and more and and bevmo and also tell my story about how persistence is really the key when it comes to whiskey hunting and things are not always exactly as they seem now before we get to it though if you like these videos of me whiskey shopping at costco please don't forget to like and subscribe that way you can get updates when my newest videos get put up all right so let's talk about eagle rare 10 which is the first whiskey on the docket today uh, and really the best thing about this whiskey is its drinkability to price ratio uh, i would probably consider it probably one of the top ones uh, of that category in the top of the bottom of the buffalo trace line and it's something that has a great flavor and feels very rich and definitely punches way above its weight class at least for the cost so that being said uh, the wife and i had been keeping our eyes out for it and i'm i'm not sure if somebody posted on instagram or reddit or where we saw it, I don't really remember where that had been, but someone had mentioned that they had Eagle Rare for sale at $25 at Costco in Hawthorne, in LA. That's the one in this video. Now, uh, since we were passing through there anyways that afternoon, we decided to stop off and by chance maybe see if there would be any of it left because, you know, that stuff goes pretty quick. So I called them first and the, and the Costco person told me that they had 12 available at the start of the day, but I wasn't really sure how many would be left or if there'd be any by the time we got there because it'd be in the afternoon and people tend to buy the Eagle Rare 10 uh, like hotcakes. So we get to the store in the afternoon and as I assumed would happen, they were all gone. And I talked to the liquor guy and the guy in the aisle and he said if there wasn't any on the shelf, uh, that that's it, there's, there's nothing left, so there's nothing left to do. Uh, and, you know, that's where you usually go hang your head uh, low and know that you've been beaten and sulk in your slice of Costco pepperoni pizza. Although, man, I really wish they would bring back the PC combo. Bring back the PC combo, Costco. Anyway, so while I was on my way, uh, I figured out that I would talk to the people at the front and see if they had any available at surrounding Costco's. Uh, and when the lady checked, she said no. But I did notice that in the system, they said that they still have five bottles left in the store. Uh, so what that means is that they are still circulating around the store. Um, and that also means that if it wasn't in somebody's basket, they would have to still be somewhere in the store, probably hidden. So the wife and I split up to go search the store for bottles between the aisles, underneath the bananas, or, you know, in the junk food aisles, the usual places, but uh, unfortunately nothing. So uh, we had to resign ourselves to failure and we start to walk out when the wife grabbed me and pointed and said, look, and there it was, shining 
shimmering, calling out to me like it had been waiting for me the whole time. It was sitting in a basket at the front. And the question is, was it somebody? Or maybe was it damaged? And really, I had my fingers crossed that perhaps it was just a go back. So I talked to the guy who was uh, about to commence putting everything back on the shelf from Costco, and lo and behold, it was a go back. Yay, score. So I politely, as politely and eagerly as I could, asked him if we were able to have that last bottle of the Eagle Rare, and he's like, sure, yeah, here you go. <laughs> he gave it to me. So that goes to show that it always helps to have a second set of eyes when whiskey hunting, uh, that is for sure. And in this case, the wife is definitely worth her weight in Eagle Rare. <laughs> So enough story time. Eagle Rare here at Costco Hawthorne was priced at $25.49, which I'm almost certain is the lowest price for Eagle Rare in the country. <laughs> I'd love for you, anyone, to, to prove me wrong. Uh, in fact, if you see it for a lower price, let me know, because there's no way. Now, this price, of course, is going to be in comparison to the cost of the other big box liquor stores like BevMo, who has it at uh, $32.99, and Total Wine, who has it at the next lowest price above Costco at $29. 99. So that means that if you do end up uh, finding it at Costco for $25.49, which is kind of a weird number if you really think about it, uh, either way, uh, you'll end up saving $4.50 over the total wine price or 15.01%, which is not a lot of in money in cash, but it's still a pretty good amount when you start getting to those lower price ranges, percentage wise. Also, uh, it really does end up bumping up the taste to cost ratio uh, for the whiskey when you can get the extra amount off. Now, the ABV on the Eagle Rare is at a reasonable 45%, which makes it a great everyday drinker. And the taste on it mentioned things like wood, slight sweetness, a well-balanced character, molasses, uh, raisins, and toast. So, you know, kind of sounds like a complete morning breakfast. Now, the review scores on it are, are actually pretty good, exceptionally good, in fact, at 89.33 points out of 100. So it is definitely a crowd pleaser. It's also a me pleaser uh, and uh, because I do. I do like this whiskey a lot, especially when I'm trying to avoid dipping into my other Buffalo Trace allocations. But you know, I still want to stay in the family. So for this one, this one was a buy for me. And in fact, uh, you know, at the price, you can have a couple bottles in hand uh, if you can find them, just in case you have thirsty friends who enjoy drinking all your whiskey. Now, the next whiskey that I want to talk about from this trip is one that is a newly released small batch by the well-known Costco-only brand, Kirkland. Uh, interestingly enough, in the past, the makers of the various Kirkland brands have been pretty circumspect about who actually produced the bottle of whiskey. Uh, maybe it's for fear of tarnishing their good name, maybe because they thought it would be competing against themselves, maybe because they didn't want to be seen being the distiller who sells their whiskeys out to the most profitable bidder, although that is getting less and less taboo as we progress in this whiskey world. But in this case, uh, it was Barton's, uh, and they had no such compunctions about revealing uh, who made this. Rather, it's posted loudly and proudly on the front of the bottle that is this small batch whiskey from Barton's 1792 distillery under the name Kirkland. There is no age statement uh, on the Kirkland small batch, but the mash bill is at 74% corn, 18% rye, and 8% barley. It's aged at least four years and is a, a pretty amazing deal if you think about it because, because in this case it comes in a liter bottle for a lower price than the $25.49 which you would pay for a 750 milliliter small batch uh, from 1792 directly. So it's from the same distillery, but you're actually gonna end up getting more and end up paying less. So it'll be really interesting to see uh, what the two difference between the bottles are when we compare them side by side. Now talking for the price at Costco for this Kirkland small batch is an, at an astoundingly low of $18.99, which is basically what you would pay for a handle of Jack Daniels, <laughs> but without all the regret. <laughs> Just kidding. I like Jack Daniels. Uh, it always will have a soft spot in my heart and probably in my liver as well. <laughs> now, this whiskey is a Costco exclusive brand, so there are no savings or price differences uh, for it at uh, Total Wine or at BevMo. But I did see online somebody reselling it, which I don't know, that seems pretty scammy to me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Also, because at least in California, you don't have to be a member of Costco to buy alcohol there. So you can actually just kind of walk in and tell them, hey, I'm, I'm here to buy alcohol, and they have to let you in. Now, the ABV on the Kirkland small batch is set at 46%, which is a bit above the baseline for a utility bourbon. And the tasting notes on it mention flavors like a thin mouthful, sweet and creaminess as far as flavors, cinnamon, oats, and raisins. And it has an overall flavor that is neither complex nor 
noteworthy. I guess that's kind of what you would expect, but it's still pretty good for what it is. In fact, the overall reviews I could find gave it 85 points out of 100. So there definitely is a there there. And for me, this one was a buy. If not out of curiosity, it can be something that I put into a decanter and give to my friends who love whiskey for its effects more than they love it for its flavors. So this one was a buy for me. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about from this trip to Costco is one that, yet again, I wish I would have bought. I should have bought it, and you know what? Somebody's probably gonna remind me in the comments that uh, I should have bought it as well. This is the Arbolor Casg Anna. Uh, <laughs> so hard to say that one. It's a scotch out of Speyside, of course, that is in Scotland. And the words Casg Anna means rare cask, which is always a good sign when it comes to whiskey. The rarer, the better, right? <laughs> It's a non age statement scotch that is a single malt, small batch, and is matured in Oloroso sherry cask, which is all the rage at the moment, like putting guacamole on pretty much anything in the early 2000s. Additionally, they use two types of American oak casks, first fill and refill, likely ex-bourbon casks in the aging process, as well as it is non-chill filtered. Also, as a side note, I really like the bottle silo that it comes in. It makes me feel really like manly just looking at it and kind of classy as well. So sort of like Sean Connery in the movies instead of Sean Connery, well, in real life. As we can see here, the cost of the Arbolor cask Anum is set at $54.99 at Costco, which is a pretty good price for it considering the cost at BevMo is at $74.99. And even at Total Wine, uh, the place that usually gives the Costco a pretty competitive run for its prices, it's at $65.99. So that means if you do end up buying it at Costco, you'll be saving $11 over the Total Wine price, or that comes out to 16.67%. Uh, the ABV on the Arbolor is set at a healthy 48%, which is pretty high for scotch, uh, especially when things like Lagavulin and Jolly Walker and Ardbeg all tend to be below that 45% ABV level. And the tasting notes mention things like honey, spice, gram, complex orchard, fruit, and dark fruit, toffee, char, cocoa, and a bit of spice. Uh, the overall reviews on it are, <laughs> believe it or not, actually not that good. Uh, at 81.92 points, but I'm not really sure why it's this low because looking at the notes, it looks like a lot of the professional reviewers gave it kind of a, a mid to high 80 score, while a lot of those folks like us <laughs> in the cheap seats, uh, the general whiskey drinking commentariat, gave it a low point score of 75 points. So uh, maybe it's just an acquired taste or that's, you know, it's a lot of people haven't liked it or it could be also that it's just bad. I don't know. <laughs> but I wouldn't know because uh, I didn't pick this one up uh, and it uh, was a pass, at least while I was at the store. Uh, but something about it still haunts me now uh, as that I'm at home. And I think that if I see it again, I will likely try to pick it up again. So it was a pass, but it's on my list of things to look out and maybe potentially buy uh, in the future here. All right, so that's it for today's Whiskey Wander at Costco Hawthorne. And I want to thank you all who made it this far in the video to the very end because, you know, it helps the algorithm. It's great for the YouTube gods and the channel as the whole to grow. So thank you so much again. Now, before I go, I just want you all to remember that if you do end up seeing a whiskey that you love, just buy it. Because if you don't, somebody else surely will, and it might even be me. All right, so have a great rest of your day. I'm out, and adios.